Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I wanted to come on here today. I've got a message for you. And uh, God has uh, really laid this on my heart. And um, I've got a chance to get this message put out. And um, I pray that this would uh, bless your all's hearts. Um, but before I, I start, I'd like to go before the Lord and pray. And just ask that He would just be in the midst as I read uh, this word. As I uh, share this message with you. Father God, Lord Jesus, we come to you today and, and we just glorify your holy name. We thank you, Abba Father, for for most of all what you did for us on the cross. And we thank you, Father God, for the sacrifice that was paid so that we could be saved and, and not have to spend eternity in, in, in hell, Lord Jesus. Father God, I just pray that you would quicken the hearts of all who listen to this message, Lord Jesus. Help me as I put out this message and, and just fill me with the with your precious Holy Spirit. Father God, I pray that, that every word I would speak would, would come from you, Abba Father. And I just pray that, that, again, you would just help me along the way, Lord Jesus. And Father God, I just pray for blessings over the church. And, and I just praise you so much for them, Lord Jesus. They're such a blessing to me. And Lord Jesus, we give you the glory, we, the honor, and the praise. And we love you so much. Amen. Okay. What I want to talk about today, and what what God has laid on my heart, really, is number one, um, uh, faith. Which, uh, as you all know, I've uh, I've had to I've had to really, really just put forth all the faith I've got um, in a circ in the circumstance that I'm in. And I will tell you, God is just blessing, uh, blessing me something in a, in a very amazing way. And I just praise God so much for His mercy and His grace. And He has showed my wife and I and my children. He's He showed us that you know even in the in the lowest of the low, He is still in the midst. And I can honestly say, what He has shared with me during this uh, this journey I've been on for about a month now um, is. We are so close to the return of Jesus Christ that I believe what he's doing is he's he's grabbing us, those who love Jesus, those who have given our hearts and, and lives to Jesus Christ. He He's working a new work in us. And I really believe that, that he's polishing us and getting us ready um, for his glorious return. And, you know, I, I just praise God. You know, the chastisement from God can be a tough thing. But I can honestly say I praise God that He's uh, um, He's put me in this valley. He's put a little school desk down there, and He said, "Okay, son, we're going to learn something now." So I just want to praise Him today. I give Him all the glory, the honor, and the praise um, for the blessings and that He has provided for my family and I. But anyways, I want to go ahead and just read. And um, if you good at if you turn to uh, Philippians. Uh, four, we'll go to verse 13, um, and uh, basically it says in verse 13, Philippians chapter 4, 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. Amen. And then we're going to go to verse 19, it says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now, I want you guys to listen to this verse. This is... This is very powerful, and and the Holy Spirit revealed to me, it says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He promises that he will supply our need, not our wants, but he promises he will supply our need. And I'm telling you, I am testimony to that. It, it What a mighty, 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 mighty God we serve. All right. Now, what I want to talk about also, we'll turn to uh, 1 Peter, uh, 1 Peter uh, 1, verse 7. And actually, I'll tell you what, I may go ahead and read. I'm going to start with verse 1 in, in 1 Peter. And, uh, and it reads, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Uh, number two, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. I'm going to, have to put my 
glasses on here. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein, wherein ye greatly rejoice, Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perish, perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom... Though now ye see him not yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Amen. So basically, what God is sharing with me is, you know, I've been I've been on on this YouTube journey with this ministry since uh, 2011, and you know, there's been many many times, um, you know, we've We've been encouraged thinking that, you know, the rapture was going to take place this year, this point in time, or whatever. And, you know, really, I, I believe where we're at today is we're at a point today where we just need to stop and let God move and let the Holy Spirit move in our lives and do what the Holy Spirit wants to do. And and I think it's so, it's so vital in these last days to really examine ourselves because and I'm speaking to myself, church. I'm not just pointing fingers. I'm speaking to myself. And you know, in this in this month journey that I've been on, he's really showed a lot of things in my life that I knew I had to get straightened out and taken care of. And, um, you know, for example, you know, I hadn't talked to my dad for a very long time. And, you know, I went last week and visited him. And there was healing that day. And he actually called me yesterday just to see how I'm doing now. Now, folks, that's the first time in an extremely long time that my dad has ever called me. So see, God worked a, a great work, a miracle there. But you know, we got to have our oil full. We have to have our lamps full because at any moment that trumpet could sound and Jesus Christ could call us home. And we better be ready. We better be ready. And you know something else that's, that's and I guess maybe there's several messages in one message today. But, you know, the one thing that I noticed, too, and I see this so evident, there are brothers and sisters on YouTube that that have bitterness and unforgiveness for each other. And, you know, what my prayer is, and I seek God daily, Lord Jesus, if there's someone that I have bitterness and unforgiveness for, take it out of me. I want to be pure. I want my lamp to be full of oil. I want to be ready to go when that trumpet sounds. And I pray daily that, God, would you just take all of me and replace it with you? Abba Father. And I know people myself. I I know I know people myself that have bitterness. They have bitterness and unforgiveness. Um, you know, I know uh I just know people myself that have that. <clears throat> and my message today is time is running short and we better be we better be serious and we better be getting ready for that trumpet to sound. But uh, I, I want to read also, and before I read this, you know, I made a, a video a while back, and it was, uh, it was out of the book of Psalms, and it was Psalm 90, and it talked about, you know, um, you know God number our days, and, you know, the, the thing that's so powerful about that is it's, it's giving us wisdom. It's, it's giving us wisdom to number the days that we have on this earth. It's given us that wisdom, and that is so important in these last days. But um, I want to go ahead and read. And again, I know I'm bouncing around, but I've just got so much to say, and I'm just going to put it on this video. So, uh, but I want to read this to you guys. Um, it's Psalm 90, and I want you to listen closely to the words of this psalm, because this is very, very powerful, very powerful. And uh, I just want you guys to listen to this. And it says here, it says, the title of it is, God's days are eternal, but man's days are numbered. That's the title of this book. And it says, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. 
before the mountains were brought forth or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. <clears throat> it says, Thou turnest man to destruction and sayest, Return ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourish, flourisheth. And groweth up, in the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins, in the light of thy countenance. Hear that. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins, in the light of thy countenance. I mean, secret sins. You know, I mean, we've all been guilty of those secret sins in our lifetime. God is purifying us. He is purifying us. He is polishing us and getting us ready for his son's return. Church, you got to listen to what I'm saying here. This is very important. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it, is, it, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear? So is thy wrath. So teach us. Listen to this. Verse 12. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad in our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. And establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands. Establish thou it. God means business, church. He means business. And uh, time is crucial in these last days. They're crucial. God is looking for a church that's serious. It means business. That is putting forth their entire faith. Every ounce of faith they have and worshiping him and putting secret sins and sins that we're committing at his feet and letting him deal with those sins forgiving us of those sins you know i have to strive every day to to battle this old fleshly sinful body i have to battle it every day but praise be to god we are victorious through christ jesus we are victorious so the message today that I want you all to, to really take heed of is we need to examine ourselves. And I'm speaking to myself here. We need to get ready because I'm telling you, I've said this for a long time, but I, I see prophetic events going on around us. I see it. Most of us are feeling it. We feel it in the very air when we walk outside. We can feel judgment coming upon this land time is short and if you have bitterness or unforgiveness in your heart towards a brother a sister a friend a mother a dad family members friends whatever you better make it right and go before the throne and ask God to help you with that bitterness and that forgiveness or that unforgiveness and pray that he would forgive you and help you and take you by the hand. That is so important in these last days. So that's my message today. God is polishing us. God is preparing us. And we have to be the wise virgins and have our oil and our lamps full and ready when that trumpet sounds. Let me tell you something. I'm sitting at my kitchen table right now. And I, and I, I can look straight out there and I see the eastern sky every time. And I'm telling you, there's going to come a day, that old sky is going to roll, buddy. It's going to roll open. That trumpet's going to sound, and Jesus Christ is going to call us home. 
You know, I want to put this out for those, the salvation uh, call, for those who may not know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. If you don't know Jesus today, you don't want to be left behind during the tribulation period. We, those who love Jesus Christ, are about to be taken out of here and taken home. You don't want to be left behind because the great tribulation is going to be the worst you could ever imagine you could ever see. It'll be stuff straight out of your nightmares. You don't want to be left behind. But if God is dealing with your heart, today is the day of salvation. And all you got to do is confess with your mouth that you are a sinner and believe that Jesus Christ died on that cross and he rose the third day. And ask Jesus Christ to come in your heart and save you, to forgive you of your sins. He is faithful and just to forgive you. All right. Well, I want to go to prayer. I want to pray for each and every one of you uh, before I go. Father God, today I lift up my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord Jesus, you know who they are, Lord Jesus. And Father God, they are such a blessing to me. I love them all so much with everything I have within me. They, they are truly one of the greatest gifts that you've ever given me in my life, Lord Jesus. Father God, I pray in these last days. I pray that, that you would help us all to run this race. Give us the strength that we need, Father God. Teach us truth by the power of your precious Holy Spirit. Father God, give us a hunger for your word more than we've ever had, Lord Jesus. And Father God, just help us, Lord Jesus. Convict our hearts if there's unforgiveness or bitterness for anyone. We pray that you would just help us with that, Lord Jesus. Father God, I pray you would bless the steps of each and every one of my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray for their family. I pray for healing, those that, that need healing, those that need financial restoration. Father God, I pray for them today. I pray that you would just comfort them in a mighty, mighty way, Lord Jesus. Father God, I pray you would create in us a church, a church that's after your own heart, not ours, Lord Jesus, not a puffed up and proud church, but Father God, a church that is humble, that is fell before your knees, that is giving our all, our all with broken, broken hearts, with praise and worship. Father God, I pray that you would just change us, Lord. Change us into a church that you want us to be, Father God. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the many blessings you sent my way, Lord Jesus. I thank you for the hearts of those who have blessed my family and I, Lord Jesus. I thank you. And I thank you, Father God, for this valley. For Dear Jesus, you've taught me so much. I thank you, Lord. Father God, I rejoice. I rejoice in my valley. I rejoice today, Lord Jesus. And I praise you, Father God. I know you're in control. And oh God, I know that our breakthroughs are coming through, Lord Jesus. Father God, again, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Oh, Lord Jesus, strengthen us as we wait on that trumpet call for you to call us home. And Lord Jesus, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen and amen. All right. Well, I pray this message blessed each and every one of you. Uh, apologize. It got up here a little bit long. I had a lot to say. I got a lot more to say. I'm going to probably have to make some more videos. But that's that was my main message today. I want you all to know, be encouraged. If God's put you in a valley and he's put you in a situation, he is polishing you. He is molding you like the potter does to clay. We are in the last days, church. We've got to be serious. We need to be on the tip of our toes ready for when that trumpet sounds. And I speak, for, I speak to myself as I say that. And I want each and every one of you to know that I love you all so very, very much. And even those of you who may be watching me that despise me and hate me, I want you to know that I love you with the love of Christ Jesus. And I praise God for each and every one of you. Thank you again, everyone, for your prayers for my situation I'm going through. Thank you so much. It means more than words can ever say. And believe me, when the big breakthrough comes, I will let you all know firsthand. All right. Well, God bless you all. I love you all so much. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy, holy name, amen.